What's up guys? Today we are making this smothered chicken recipe. So let's get to it. So we're going to start by chopping up our vegetables. Um, so chop your mushrooms, mince your garlic, and then chop your onions. And then we're going to take our flour and half of our dry seasonings. And we're going to put that on a shallow plate and we're going to mix all of that up together until it's evenly mixed together because we're going to use that to coat our chicken. So we want all of those flavors like diversified in there um and then you're gonna take our chicken breasts we're gonna use two of them and we're going to coat them in that mixture while you're doing this just melt some butter um on medium high heat on your skillet so that it's ready for your chicken to just go straight in so we're gonna like cook our chicken on both sides for four minutes at medium high heat and then after those have cooked for four si minutes on each side we're going to remove them from the pan but we're going to leave like the butter that we have in there. And then we're going to take the rest of the tapioca flour that we had on our plate on our plate. And we're going to mix that in um, with the like remaining butter that is there. And again, we're just keeping this on medium high heat. We're going to add our broth and then we're going to add our heavy cream and our wine vinegar and then a little bit more of the tapioca flour. And we're just going to mix that up and we're just going to cook that for about three minutes until it gets thickened um this is what we're using as like our gravy sauce so as you can see here it's thickened and then now we're going to add in our garlic our onion and our mushrooms and we're gonna cook this again keep it on medium high heat and we're just gonna cook this for about three minutes on its own after it's been sitting for about three minutes and it's kind of mixed up with all of the gravy we're gonna put our chicken back in and then we're gonna turn our heat down to like medium low because we're gonna let it simmer with the lid on for 22 minutes. And I just added some rosemary on top to give it a little extra flavor. After that, you're done. We're just gonna throw away the rosemary and then coat our chicken with our gravy. If you guys want, you can add crumbled bacon on top, but yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, like, rate, subscribe, and bon apple tea, y'all.